Hello, I'm Gavin Moore, Creative Director for Demon's Souls. This is a remake of monumental scope and ambition, transforming a beloved PlayStation Classic into a stunning showcase for the PlayStation 5. In every respect, Demon's Souls looks, sounds and feels right at home in this next generation of gaming. We're all massive fans of the original game, and we wanted to bring everything we possibly could up to a level that modern gamers expect, and that includes the power and variety at your control in the character creator. From facial customization to hair types, there are many thousands more permutations for you to explore, empowering you to make an avatar you can relate to, whoever that might be. Demon's Souls is anchored by a hub, the Nexus. The Nexus is how you'll get to the game's five archstones, each of which leads to a different land in Boletaria. There are also many NPCs here who are a key part of the storytelling experience. We were lucky enough to bring back many of the original cast to take on their iconic roles. Now let's enter the first archstone, the archstone of the small king, and start our journey at the gates of Boletaria. Now, the real Demon Souls begins. Attacking, blocking and dodging all use stamina, so the player must always consider where they are, what they're facing and what their foes are capable of. Now these dragglings aren't particularly daunting, their patterns are relatively simple and their attack ability somewhat limited. Still. Even these earliest enemies can pose a threat if the player loses focus. For those who played Demon Souls on PlayStation 3, you'll notice enemies behave exactly as you remember. Though you can play at 60 frames a second in performance mode, and animations have been completely redone, combat timing is just as it was. We're actually using original code for these core gameplay pillars, the untouched essence of the game around which everything else has been beautifully remade. It's a modern engine driving this white knuckle combat experience where the slightest error could mean your death. We're playing in performance mode, which targets 60 frames a second, running at a beautiful dynamic 4K. There's also a cinematic option that's an even more vivid native 4K, targeting 30 frames a second. Whether your preference is fluidity and responsiveness, or simply the most detailed possible experience, the game is a feast for the senses on PlayStation 5. We've added thousands upon thousands of new sound effects to take advantage of the PlayStation 5's impressive Tempest 3D audio. Now you can hear Imperial spies in the Palace of Boletaria creeping up behind you, or a creature slithering out of the slime in the Valley of Defarma, far below. Now you can experience this stunning world in 3D audio just by connecting a headset. We're also really excited about the DualSense wireless controller's haptic feedback. We wanted to make combat feel grittier and darker, 
So this is the perfect way to feel steel clash against steel, or the crackle of a fireball in the palm of your hand before you cast it at your enemies. We've left the open air of Boletaria and descended into the lair of the Flame Lurker, deep within Stonefang Mines. Flame Lurker is one of the most beloved of all of the Demon Souls bosses, and here he's brought to life in amazing detail. The real-time lighting and incredible particle effects, as well as a deadly redesigned arena, all culminate in a spectacular battle set in a world of fire. And the music here as you battle Flame Lurker is one of many incredible tracks created for Demon Souls. On PlayStation 5, we've rearranged and fully reorchestrated Shinsuke Kida's breathtaking score, with 120 world-class musicians performing at the legendary Air Studios in London. The Tower of Latria. This is the first part of the third archstone. It's truly one of the most unforgettable areas in Demon Souls. It's so haunting and claustrophobic. It's rife with detail and countless nooks and crannies. On PlayStation 5, we've radically increased the object density. The stage is absolutely littered with rubble, broken vases, and abandoned clutter. It's an amazing set piece for enemy encounters. These mine flares, for example, cast glowing projectiles down long corridors. For all of the added or enhanced effects like these, we've endeavoured to strike a balance between dread and beauty, echoing the tragic fall of the once glorious but now doomed Kingdom of Boletaria. Moving on to the rain-soaked Shrine of Storms. Each class in Demon Souls has a radically different feel. Knights in their armor are tough, but a bit clumsy when dodging an attack. The thief, on the other hand, is quick and sure of foot, but requires finesse to inflict a killing blow. Veterans might have noticed that we've added new animations for all weapon types. Of course, we made sure to match the timing and feel of the original attacks. It's a small change, but it helps make each weapon choice feel a little bit more unique and makes the thrill of landing a perfect backstab all the more satisfying. Anyone who played Demon Souls on PlayStation 3 knows that the Valley of Defilement is one of the most challenging, demanding levels in the game. We're so excited for those players to revisit this gloomy, arresting swamp, now with performance mode at a targeted 60 frames per second. This area was a particular challenge because we wanted to preserve the occasionally disorientating, almost maze-like nature of the stage while building on the mythos of Boletaria. After all, this is a place of outcasts and the unwanted. We wanted the valley to feel much more alive with the PlayStation 5 remake, and it gave us a rare chance to revisit a truly iconic level in gaming history. And before we wrap up, 
Here's a first look at the Dirty Colossus, a nightmarish mishmash of detritus that's been discarded from above. Your best bet for success here is to keep your distance and time your attacks carefully, and use a weapon that can burn through this toxic monstrosity. You've just gotten a taste of what's awaiting you this November. Demon's Souls is one of the most celebrated gems in PlayStation history. It defined a new genre of action RPGs, focused on tactical combat, environmental storytelling, groundbreaking synchronous and asynchronous multiplayer elements, and an emphasis on trusting the player to learn, master, and ultimately to triumph. SIE Worldwide Studios and Bluepoint Games are honoured to be able to remake this classic for those who hold it dear and for a whole new generation of gamers to discover. Thank you for watching. PlayStation.